Your thoughts have consequences so great that they create your reality. I'm going to say that again. Your thoughts have consequences so great that they create your reality. So whatever your current reality is, your thoughts created it. You know, many of us tend to live life from the outside in rather than from the inside out, meaning we look at life's situations and circumstances and conditions and we respond or make adjustments based upon the world that we live within instead of focusing on the world that lives within us. The world that lives within us, living from the inside out, simply means that we're going to do our best to control the way that we think and the way that we feel because our thoughts and our feelings ultimately determine the environment that we're in. Just think about a person who's always negative. They're down, they're depressed, uh, they're suicidal, uh, they're enraged or full of anger or melancholy or sad. They always tend to view the world from a negative disposition. And because that becomes their dominating thought and belief, they reinforce situations, circumstances, and conditions that what? Reflect that internal thinking that they have on the inside of them. So in essence, they're attracting more bad, more negativity into their realm because that is the way in which they perceive the world from a negative disposition. However, a person who's positive in their thinking, they always see the glasses half full. They're full of joy they give people the benefit of the doubt. They like to look for the good in folks and the good in situations. These are people who reinforce or bring into their world circumstances, situations, and conditions that are reflective of how they think and perceive. So they always stumble into blessings. They always are involved in positive experiences because of their internal disposition. So yes, things happen in life beyond our control. We know that, but it is not what happens in life, but how we show up to it. You can either look for the struggle in every situation or the opportunity in that situation. Like for instance, when you experience failure, there's a seed of success in every failure. How? Because if you're learning from that experience, it doesn't make you a failure. It just means you produce an undesirable result. And from that experience, you'll learn what to do the next time. And so therefore you don't fail, you succeed. So if you're an individual who's constantly thinking negative, you need to check that. Now, the reality is we think 50 to 60,000 thoughts per day. And within every second, hundreds of thoughts are being created. Now you may say to yourself, how in the world is it possible for me to even think 100 thoughts in a second? Because you're not just thinking with your conscious mind, but with your senses as well. Many of us operate by sensory knowledge, what we can see, what we can smell, what we can touch, what we can taste. And so all of those senses are picking up messages that create thoughts, whether we're conscious of them or not. So you have to be careful about your internal thought process. You've got to be careful about your thought pattern because the pattern of your thoughts determines your reality. That's why the Bible says, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your body a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto him, which is your reasonable service. Here we go. Do not conform to this world, but be ye transformed by what the renewing of your mind. So you've got to constantly renew your mind because as long as we remain within a negative, sick world, it will have an impact on your thoughts. So now your thinking will reflect your external reality. But as long as you begin to live from the inside out and you're renewing your mind, you perceive different, you think different, you function different, you behave different, therefore getting a different result. This is a scripture that says, as a man think of in his heart, so is he. So you are your thoughts. That's why you've got to check them. Someone once said that you become what you think about most of the time. You get what you think about most of the time. 
So whatever you're spending the majority of your thoughts on, that is what you bring into your life. That is what you become. So a person who really, 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 really wants something, there's a great possibility that they will experience it. But a person who really, 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 really does not want something, there's a great possibility that they'll bring it into their life. Why? Not because they don't want it, but because they keep focusing and thinking about what they don't want. And whatever you're thinking about, you are teaching yourself, your subconscious mind, your environment, that that is what you want. So you've got to learn how to shift your thoughts away from what you don't want and focus on what you do want. Most of us in this life know exactly what we don't want. And we spend our time meditating about the things that we don't want. We spend our time meditating about past experiences that we did not like. And so what happens is if I'm constantly thinking about what I don't want, if I'm constantly thinking about what I did not like in terms of the experience that I went through, I'm recreating it into my reality. So you've got to check your thoughts. Last point, you've got to understand that your mind is one of two things. It is either a record of your past or passport into your future. So every time I'm in my head, I'm in my mind, I'm either thinking about a past experience or a future reality. Now, if I'm drenched in negativity because I'm always stuck in my past, stuck in my pain, stuck in my frustration, when I think about the future, All I'm thinking about is a future reality that's reflective of my past. Now, though I don't want a future negative experience, I have a tendency to look at it through the filter of my past hurt reality. So in essence, I now operate in fear. I now operate in anxiety because I believe that my future is going to be no different than my past. And so I'm recreating a reality that I don't want, but because I'm stuck in a mental pattern that keeps me in this situation, I'm going to continue to experience it again and again and again. So my thoughts now, my feelings have become a self-fulfilled prophecy and reality because I've created it in my future because all All I do is fear it based upon my past reality. So a lot of the crazy that we go through, a lot of the struggle that we go through, a lot of the hardships and the bad times that we go through have everything to do with us. So if I can begin to change the way I think, then I can begin to change the way that I live.